In today's video, I will be ranking the 10 best players in MLW. I'm ranking these players on their performance in the 2022 regular season and the 2022 postseason. A key factor that I will be considering is team success and how much the player impacted their team. With that out of the way, let's get into the rankings. At number 10, it's Tommy Coughlin. In 2022, while he wasn't great on the mound, he was fantastic at the plate as he hit to a 296 average, 630 slugging, 1.142 OPS to go along with six home runs across 54 at bats. The only thing holding him back was his pitching. In the 2022 regular season, he pitched to a 5.21 ERA across 6.1 innings. Either way, he deserves the number 10 spot on the list. At number 9, it's Daniel Schultz. Even though Daniel was excellent as always in 2022, there was just so much competition this year that it kind of lowered him on the list. Either way, in the regular season, he hit 4 home runs and 13 hits to go along with a 325 average. On the mound, he declined a bit, but still had a 233 ERA across 18 innings. Coming in at number 8, it's Brendan Baranowski. And before you scroll to the comments saying the Red Baron should be higher, hear me out. He didn't hit at all. While he was the best pitcher in MLW in 2022, he didn't hit at all. Besides his lack of plate appearances, he was an outstanding pitcher as he pitched to a 0.96 ERA to go along with a mind-blowing 76 strikeouts and 9 wins. At the number 7 spot is Sawyer Bean. In Sawyer's first season in MLW, he traveled to Vermont and Los Angeles. The most impressive part of this is that he was a key factor to the Cobra's success, as he pitched to a 2.10 ERA and hit to a 319 average. At number 6, it's Nick Saylor. Nick had a bit of a downgrade hitting-wise in comparison to his 2021 campaign, but he was still one of the best players in the league. On the mound, he threw for a 1.43 ERA in the regular season. At the plate, he hit to a 311 average along with 19 hits and 6 home runs. Coming in at number 5, it's Kyle Schultz. Obviously, Kyle's the GOAT of MLW, and in 2022, he proved to still be one of the best in MLW. In the regular season, Kyle hit to a 344 average to go along with 21 hits and 6 home runs. To add on to this, he pitched to just a 1.48 ERA. Ultimately, these stats propelled him to the number 5 spot. At number 4, it's Dallas Allen. At the beginning of the season, it was looking like he was going to be ranked number 1 as he hadn't given up a run on the mound in two series. As the season went on, he decreased in production but was still dominant as he pitched to a 1.09 ERA and also hit to a 395 average. Coming in at number 3, it's Ryan Cratch. I know this might be very controversial as he won MVP in 2022, but I'll get into my reasoning later. Let's talk stats for a minute. On the mound, he pitched to just a 1.29 ERA to go along with 6 wins and 64 strikeouts. The reason I have Jimmy and Jordan over Ryan is because, well for Jimmy, he had just so much playoff success. And I'm sure you're saying, well, if you value postseason performance so much, why is Robles above Cratch? Well, Robles turned the worst team in MLW into arguably the second best team in the league. Either way, Cratch had an excellent season, and this season has been one of the best seasons of his career. At 
number two, it's Jimmy Norp. Now, while Jimmy didn't have the best regular season, he was outstanding in the playoffs, winning his second straight MLW title. In the postseason, he had an average of 275. He also hit five home runs in just 50 at-bats. This means for every 10 at-bats, he hit one home run. All of this led him to the number two spot on my list. And finally, coming in at number one, it's Jordan Jumpman Robles. Jordan had an outstanding season, not to mention he was just a rookie. In the regular season, he hit eight home runs and got a 393 average, 595 on base percentage, 821 slugging, and a 1.417 OPS. I know some of you are saying he didn't do well in the postseason. That's not entirely true. He pitched to a 0.43 ERA across 14 innings. Do you disagree with my rankings? If so, drop a comment giving me your thoughts on the top 10. The links to my Instagram, Twitter, and Discord are in the description. Please like, comment, and subscribe it would mean the world to me. And with that, this is We Came For This, signing off.